Hey, 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 if you're watching me, you're watching Julie with the Julie Show at GI Juice. Where it actually doesn't do anything, but today I am doing Adventure Adventure, so when I put the hashtag Adventure Adventure, even my niece and nephew will come in and look at this video. Uh, I am lit up today. I want to make sure that you hear me loud and clear. I have been an advocate of doing these videos and following other people doing videos on dentures to know what I was going to go through. And I've been through this for a year. I had my immediate dentures the first day. I had my teeth the first. I had, maybe I should just tell the whole story. I don't know how much you all know. So I was in the hospital last February. And I will tell you that I went into a coma um, from February 8th to February 13th when I woke up. Some kind of state of mind where I stayed in bed. During that time, I am pretty sure the teeth that were already bad, the teeth that were already there and doing bad from the infection, I had an infection. The infection came years ago. I'm not going all the way back to that story, but the infection came years ago. I was at the hospital, laying in the bed for, what, five days. And nobody touched my teeth. Nobody touched me. That's, the, that's what happened. That's the care I got. When I got home, the teeth, Started no, I didn't even know when I come home. It, the teeth happened to fall out on the second half of that stay at the hospital. They moved me to the other side of the hospital, the nutcase place. People were a little bit crazy, but I mean, it was. It's hard to explain. You got to go. I mean, one girl acted like she had been there before. I'm like, what are you people? One girl said she was homeless. I mean, it was bad. It was the reasons these people were in there. One girl was sitting in the cold car, and her husband won't let her leave. I was like, this is getting ridiculous. And they asked me how I did there. And I was like, well, this isn't for me. You know, I could have went home on Wednesday and he got in a fight with some of the patients in the parking lot I heard. And I, my doctor. So anyways, not that story, but um, denture adventure. Uh, that is what led to me getting dentures. This is what led me to start looking for somebody uh, local here in Belton or Kansas City because I had already been turned down by three people. Uh, because of my health they've already told me that it causes you know putting me under would cause me sudden and instant death and it was bad it's bad so I was in a bad situation I lost all my teeth and right before I lost them all I was just told that no one's going to touch me because of my heart condition so I was diagnosed in 2018 with wolf parkinson white disease it's something wrong with my heart the rhythm of my heart is not normal it hasn't been normal and I have always talked about how it beats abnormally and I just thought it was normal so I'm just gonna go with it it did in fact I do sometimes have high blood pressure and if I have the high blood pressure while my WPW is active I am gonna be in trouble and I have a pinched nerve going all the way down my arm right now it still freaking hurts um my mouth is getting dry from talking to y'all so I'm up on a little lip gloss again so we're mad in this story here okay I did have a heart attack uh it was a mild heart attack in my home or Either that or it was happening at the doctor's office. I went to urgent care. She called the ambulance. She said, you're having a heart attack. <laughs> okay, so and for sure she knew something wasn't right. My blood pressure was so high. It was like something like oh, 200 over 100. I don't remember, you guys. It was bad. So anyway, shit. They checked my blood sugar. Now, let me tell you something. These candies that I eat, they might make my blood sugar go up. Like, I'm sure that has something to do with it. But he checked my blood sugar that day. And I used to eat a lot of lifesavers. That's kind of probably where I got my teeth a little bit quicker than they could have went. But when I was under, nobody took care of me. So I'm pretty sure that infection had its way with those teeth. I got home. Or I didn't get home. I got in the mirror there. And a couple of them fell out. And I got home. I was missing all my teeth. My husband said he will put his... um. IRA money into investing in my teeth if he had to. <laughs> that wasn't the problem. I told him that wasn't the problem. The problem is I can't find somebody that will do my teeth because of my heart condition. They got to put me under. So what happened was I kept looking. I went to Aspen. I explained to the doctor about my heart condition. She looked at me and she says, I have WPW too. I was like, oh, yes, there's a God. There's a God. You believe, and I believed there was a God, and I believed I was going to get teeth. I just had to keep going. I listened, and I kept going, and I met Dr. Bree. Okay, her name was Brianna. I can't pronounce her last name. She is no longer at Aspen, and she's the main reason I got my teeth done there, and I remember telling you guys a lot. We, you'll have to go back in some videos to hear that. Um, 
but she did in fact leave and she's two hours away from here. I was trying to find her and I finally found her last name and I finally found where she was at. And well, the reason I didn't know her last name is because she just, um, Dr. Bree. And she told me that I could have a Valium and I didn't want one. I told her I would just take Xanax. She said, I am not going to put you out. I am just going to use a, a new type of, uh, so there's less epinephrine in it. So it doesn't cause this to go crazy because that is why the doctors didn't want to do this in the first place. They knew that putting me under or giving me anesthesia or any kind of local, I'm my heart's even talking about it. My heart starts to change rate. So, um, Dr. Bree said, here's what I'm going to do though. We're going to separate you. We're going to, the, uh, I called to get the, the guy that, the, she said she would send me to an oral surgeon first. That's what happened first. And I called in the parking lot. And they said, no oral surgeon accepts Medicare in the state of Missouri. <laughs> I was like, God, burn again. So here I'm doing something good. And then something bad has to happen to it. So I called them. I go back inside. And I tell her, I said, I can't get I can't get into a dentist to get my teeth pulled. They don't accept Medicare. That's when she was like, okay, here's what we're going to do. Dr. Bree said, I'm going to do your bottom teeth. Which, which side do you want first? I said, my bottom. So I went in on a Monday in March last year, March 8th, and I had her do my bottoms. And then I went back at 7 a.m. the next morning because my husband, I was going to go back later in the day so I didn't know how much pain I'd be in. It was not that bad. It was not that bad. Go back, watch some videos. But, um, where am I at? I, don't lose, if I lose, if I lose focus, I will lose track of where I'm at. I'm just saying that uh, okay, so the next day, the 9th, I went back and got my tops in, and I smiled, I have a picture on Facebook, I just, it was my memory just recently, because it was March 9th, and so as of March 9th, I had inner, I had, uh, immediate dentures for, till September, so seven, almost seven months from my means, and I could have went another month, because I still had some moving, uh, I had to go back to the dentist three times, since I've had my permanents and now they fit pretty comfortable, I do need adhesive, but I'm gonna, that's what I want to address. There is a man going around, a young man who just got dentures, and his mouth does look a little encaved. Um, what that means is that mine look like they're out there. Uh, but actually, before I had my dentures, they were really out there. Y'all got to go back and look at some pictures. I don't look nothing like I used to look because I got like... It, it looks like I had something done big time because my mouth, all of a sudden these smile lines showed up. All of a sudden my teeth are just white and straight, you know, and that changed. My husband said that even changed my draw. Cha well, it changed everything. When I take these out, it scrunches up. When I put them in, it goes up. It's like, <laughs> oh, but it didn't hurt. And the young man going around, he has his comments turn off. So I can't say, hey, it's going to be okay. Or, hey, you know, you're on the four-month journey. I've been in this for a year. I'm telling you, it gets better. He's not addressing that, and he's not allowing you to comment. So I have to come in and say, hey, look, if you're that person, if you have your immediate dentures and they're uncomfortable, go to your dentist and tell them you need a reline. There's nothing wrong with that. I had so many relines, you know. You have to take care of your jaw. If you don't have your dentures right, you're going to have pain and you're going to mess up your jaw. Now, I'm doing this denture adventure for all of you because I feel now I have the wisdom to teach a little bit on this subject. And I thought this was going to end this month. But after I saw that video today, I was like, get in there, Julie. Get in there. Intercept. This kid is making it again. He's moving his teeth. Let me tell you something. Okay. You signed up for dentures, right? I mean, nobody to bah, put a gun to your head and say, get on the table and you're going under and putting dentures in your mouth. We signed up for this. Okay. We kind of knew already from watching other people's videos what we're getting into. A little elf sanitizer on. Why not? I'm just sitting here. Um, I forgot what we're talking about. I completely forgot. I don't know why. I'll tell you why. Because my medication, my THC medication, does take away from your memory. It takes away from the brain cells in the memory. So, yeah. And I don't have my little thing on here. But I'm doing fine. I don't have to have it. I'm not like that. I'm not all addicted to it. That's one thing I like about that. Because I'm an addict. The one thing I know I don't ever get addicted to. Because it really doesn't have a withdrawal effect. It's all in your head. Is marijuana. And I'm going to sign language. I'm done. I'm not talking about that. I'm not even allowing y'all to talk about that. Other than Missouri, I got a lot of pain. 
and I worked. I've been working out. I got pain from working out. I'm hurting. Try to take care of myself. I hurt just trying. <laughs> so also um, on this denture adventure, I am going on a 31 day fast till Easter. Um, I should have started it on Ash Wednesday, like all the Catholics did, but I'm not that Catholic anymore. So I didn't start it on the Ash Wednesday, but I am going to read something in the Bible every day. I'm only going to be able to drink non soda items. Um, no alcohol, no pop. This, oh, this is clear pot. I, I can't have clear soda. I can have one meal a day. I usually only have one meal at dinner, and I can't have any fast food, or it has to be salad, or I have to make a shake and excuse the meal. I mean, we eat out a lot, and it's starting to show, and I'm starting to feel heavier. I cannot carry a lot of weight on my little feet. I was a preemie. Ouch! I was a preemie. I wear a size 3 in kids, 5 in women's. And I'm tiny, and I'm 4'11", and I weigh about 100 pounds. And I want to continue to stay monitoring myself between 95 and 100 pounds because of my feet and my knees. I mean, I have arthritis in my left knee real bad. I mean, what the hell? I'm just trying to take care of myself, you know? Everyone's like, hey, you put on some weight, but I don't want to weigh 84. If you go back into some of my videos, you're going to see that I was pretty freaking scary looking with my head bobbing around on my little shoulders because I had lost so much weight. But I have come back. I have come back, but it's going too fast. My son is calling, so it's time to end this video. Watch out for the troll trying to scare you. It's not that bad. I will come back later. Love y'all. Bye-bye.